Hi guys, how you doing? Chino HD Titan. Uh, I want to bring something new to the channel, guys. You see, most of the time I'm always walking somewhere to or from the gym. I've got about 30 minutes uh, indigestion with them, just had breakfast to get to the gym. And I, I feel like I could answer a few questions. So I want to bring in a new topic system. So I think I've um, been inspired by Mark Loblan at Tag Fitness. So I want to start up a new cardio confessions and within this I'll look to bring up a few topics. So the first topic is how can you start getting on your way if you want to get into fitness, into the gym. And it's real easy guys, you just need to do some research. It's a case of you don't need to put your best foot forward, but put a foot forward. It's not about finding the right path to get yourself started or anything. It's not going to be perfect. You just start on a path and you just make that path, right? And it'll be hard. It's not a case of you're always going to find a perfect plan. People feel like, okay, find someone who's done it, get the perfect plan and you can't go wrong, but you can't share someone else's experience. Like I was saying before, so when I began, I just decided to just do it, to look into it. I decided to see what motivation I could watch. I decided to see how other athletes were doing it and getting involved in fitness. And I saw with a lot of athletes that they're training, especially with like basketball players, professional football players, and American professional football players, that they had a system where literally they turn up, they go to the gym twice, like two times, three times, four times a day, Just they just turn up and they'd have like all their coaches and all their meal planners give them certain meals telling them where they need to be and then I realised that it was a case of well okay if they're putting in that much effort into their fitness okay I need to but in turn go a bit over the top be a lot more strict and I kind of adopted what they adopted their principles of training recovery going to the gym twice or even just making sure I got enough sleep like it's things like this that you can add in that are always going to allow you to just give yourself the best possible outcome you can do when you go to fitness. Because it's scary, it, it is, it's a, it's, a, it's a choice that you ch that you choose to adopt a new personality. In a sense, you have to destroy the person you once were to, to become the person who you're gonna be. And that person's gonna be stronger, a lot more confident. And a person who in the past, you might have thought, oh, what a, like that that type of character is a dick. But then you grow to love him. I mean, people are too caught up in, oh, I like the way I am. Oh, I don't need to change myself for anyone. And if someone likes me for me, they should like me for me, and that's it. It's not always the case. It's not a bad thing to want to improve your look. It's not a bad thing to want to work on yourself. Yeah, people can like you for you, but they'll like you even more when you can show to them that you've got determination, that you've got drive to do something, especially when that drive is to help yourself progress in life. So I'm going to keep these quick, going to keep these short guys. So it's cheat, no so, cardio, confessions, and I'll keep them going on topics from going to the gym. And yeah, tell me which topics you want me to talk about because I've got a few that I want to do in the top of my head. But yeah, make sure to give this video a like. I'll make sure to look in the description for how you can follow me and also the discounts you can get from Muscle Foods. So, in a bit guys, see ya. Ah, shock. Does that mean I don't lift? Gossip, gossip, nigga just stop it. Everybody know I'm a motherfucking monster.